much as you guys are leading the SEC in rushing, how much do you guys' offensive line take pride in being able to put a lot of yards on the ground every game? Um, we take pride in every day and everything we do. Like we talked a lot last year about how we was great passing offense and this that, and the third. And now it's different. Like we being the best run offense. Like it's just whatever they put in our face. Like we we gonna take that and ride with it every day. Like us being the the best at the run game right now is what we plan on doing for the rest of the year. It's not gonna change for this point. Rick in the back. So you know, taking pride, they love seeing you after the game when the balls come in, and, and talk about taking pride in adversity, waving the flag, and having so much fun after a big victory like that. I don't know. Uh, for me personally, it just means a lot. It's the work you put in and the places that you are. Like it, like affect the outcome of how you are as a person. And just me coming in here as a freshman, putting all the work and I put in throughout the years, and for the faces that have been here to see that, like it just means a lot to me. And like I carry this with me. Like I carry the team with me. Like. I ain't had it for my whole life, but the four years I had, it's feel like it's been my life. So, Casey, what's allowed John Campbell to fit into the offensive line so well this season? Uh, just being a physical animal. Like, if you're a physical animal, like you're allowed in my room. Like, that's just how it is. Like, we like that. Like, I mean, being a being a like coming from a different place. Like, of course, you got to settle in and notice know know the stuff and like be able to learn. Like, he was coachable. He was willing to learn, and he wanted to go play football. So. Yeah, I'm a problem. There have been several, several times where guys have gone down during games and had to switch things up on the offensive line. What, what's allowed you guys to be able to keep that chemistry and keep the level of play even with new guys moving around? That's just how it is every day as a group. Like, we, we a family, like, this team a family. So every day we go in the meeting rooms, we got each other back. It's not just a bunch of individuals in that doing work. It's a bunch of guys in there that want to help each other, that want to be better, that want to play the game, that want to like help their families in the future and want to be something. So we just take pride in that stuff. Like it's not one single person. Everybody in that room has a job, and if one guy goes out, the next guy better be ready to do that job. Anything else for Javante? Ben Skins. What do you guys need to do to be more effective in short yardage? Um, just the looks we get. For us personally, it's just us getting in our stance, getting our feet set, and just seeing the idea and being able to come off with low, low hat and hands. Like, I mean, of course we know short yards, short distance. You have to like any any defense you know is going to play straight, shoot off the ball. Like, so it's just man on man who's gonna, who's going to win that situation. West, Montez, kind of a senior and sort of a leader, energy type guy on this team. How important do you think it is for you to be one of the guys this week to make sure? The young guys know, hey, this is a break from SEC play, but you still got to go out there and do the job. Uh, we talked about that Monday. Uh, it doesn't change. Right? No matter what team we play, they're gonna they're gonna have it. It's gonna be the same thing every every week we step on the field. It's gonna we're gonna have the same feeling to go out there and execute to the best of our ability and show that other teams can't play with us. So it doesn't change. Like there's no mindset I have to talk to those guys about. If they already in that mindset, they're in the wrong place. Time for one more. All right, thanks for about this.